Hi everybody, Jeremy here from VJ2 Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to import the SRT file in DaVinci Resolve and export the subtitles burned in inside the video. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve are now on the edit page and the first thing you want to do is bringing the video that you want to subtitle and the SRT file with the subtitle of that video in your media pool right there. It's gonna ask me if I want to change the project frame rate. I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm simply gonna drag my video in my timeline and then right click, add a subtitle track, and I can simply drag my SRT file on my subtitle track. Right now my timing is on point, but if for whatever reason you need to adjust that timing, you can simply select everything here and then just zoom in and line that up to your text if the time code is not exactly the same. If you need to remake some micro adjustment, you can do that by here simply moving the text file around and just lining that up properly with your audio and your waveform right there. By selecting your subtitle, you'll have access to two tabs, the caption and the style tab. The caption is where you're going to be able to modify the text of each line of subtitle by jumping from one to another, adjusting the text if necessary. It's a great way to just jump around and check if everything is fine. So for example, here, there might be some adjustment required. We're gonna see that in a second with style. One quick tip if you want to make sure that your subtitles are consistent throughout the video, you want to select all the subtitle by clicking the first one, then holding shift, scrolling down to the last subtitle, and then clicking on that last one. It will just select basically everything on your timeline, or you can simply just unzoom and select everything in the timeline. Then make sure that you have use track style selected and I will ensure that each subtitle is taking its styling from this style tab and that you're not having a rogue title with a completely different style in the middle of your video. Then here you can make all the adjustments you need. So for example, here you could switch the font to Montserrat. We could reduce the size of the subtitle. We could decide on the alignment. So for example, by default here, I'm gonna make it a center. Then here you could have some outline if you decide to change the color, for example, and try to make it pop by increasing that outline. But right now we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna double click on it to reset it. We can adjust the position. I'm gonna bring it down. And then you have two methods to make it pop from the background and make it easy to read. Either you can use the drop shadow and here offsetting that shadow a bit to the side and to the bottom and you can play around with the blur to have something that is very diffuse or something that is solid and you can play around also here with the opacity. Your second alternative will be the background right there. By default the box is adapting to the text but unfortunately there is no way to adjust the space between the text and the edges of the box or at least not with the transparent mode. A workaround with that will be to increase here the outline width which will result with more space between uh, the top of the text and the top of the box and the edges, etc. But then you will have to raise the opacity to make it a full solid. Another thing you have control over is the corner radius, but unfortunately it's pretty limited. As you can see right here, it doesn't produce a clean square corner, unfortunately. It's only rounded, so you're pretty limited with that. Another alternative, if you don't want to have the box adapting automatically to the text, you could simply click here to override sizing. And then here you could make the adjustment of that box directly here, and it will be a fixed box uh, throughout your video. This could be a great way here to just have a box that is covering the entire width of your frame. Now, once you're happy with your subtitles and that you've reviewed everything, you can go over to the deliver page to burn in those titles inside the export of your video. So simply export it as any other video, rename it, choose the location, pick whatever format you usually use, and then simply go here to subtitles on top of it and select export subtitle. So here by default, the format is set as a separate file, uh, but we don't need that because here, as you can see, if we check to export as there is SRT, we already imported that SRT, but that's how you will export a SRT file uh, if you were to make your subtitle from scratch inside of DaVinci Resolve. But right now that's not what we want to do. We want to burn it into the video. So we're just going to select burn it into the video. And now when we're going to make our exports and now we're just going to add to render queue and then click render. And I've exported my video with my burn-in subtitle. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. 
Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.